what they believed and what they were founded on. The foundation that God gave them, they stayed there. Even when the devil tried to take them out, they stayed there. Even when people was lying on them, they stayed there. Even when people was backbiting on them, they stayed there. Because they realized that God had a plan for their life. Oh, I wish I had a witness in here that realized that when God has a plan for my life, I'm going to keep on going. Even when the enemy wants to take me out, I'm going to keep on going. Because I realized that no weapon that's formed against my life shall be able to prosper. And who God has predestinated, he's going to take care of. Oh, I wish I had a witness in here. The Bible declared that many are called, but few are chosen. And when God has handpicked you, oh my God, and see the crazy thing about it is God always used the people that are misfits. God always used the people that people say you are God bless you. God bless you. You're now tuned into the Prophet's Touch right here on the Inspired Network. And I am your host, Prophet Cody Spivey. Listen, if you're watching me by the Inspired Network TV, I want you to call somebody and let them know that that young 19-year-old prophet from Jacksonville, Florida is on the air. Listen, if you're watching me by social media, I would like for you to like this post, share this post, invite somebody to this live. I truly believe that there's a word from the Lord today. And today, I want to talk to you people of God about holiness. What is holiness? Glory to God. And as you're coming in, I'm going to give you a couple of more seconds to come in. But as you're coming in, I would like for you to take this time out to go with me in your Bibles. Glory to God. To the book. To the book. To the book. I would like for you to go with me into your Bibles. Unto the book of Hebrews, the 12th chapter and the 14th verse and again we're talking to you today about holiness holiness and as you're coming in don't forget to like and share this live the definition of holiness is the state of being holy um a life of holiness and total devotion to god um before we get started i would like for you to know that holiness it's not only a way of living, but it's a lifestyle. Glory to God. It's the way you act. It's the way you treat people. Holiness is um, coming out from among ye and being ye separated. But Hebrews, the 12th chapter, and the 14th verse dec declares, Strive for peace with everyone. And for the holiness without which no one will see the Lord. You have to live holy. Glory to God. When, As I say a, a lot of times, when the Holy Ghost comes upon you, the things that you would have used to do, you don't do anymore. The places that you used to go, you don't go anymore. Holiness, as I said earlier, is a lifestyle, a way of living. You cannot treat people nasty and say that you're holy. You cannot lie on people and say that you're holy. You cannot go any and everywhere and say that you're holy. For 2 Corinthians 7 and one declares, since we have these promises, beloved, uh, let us cleanse ourselves. Glory to God. I'm going to declare that again. Let us cleanse ourselves. When you're holiness, you go through some cleansing. Glory to God. You know, glory to God, the Inspired Network, people watching me, you haven't always been good in your life. You know that you've made a couple of mistakes in your past. You know that if it wasn't for your past, that you wouldn't be here today. But holiness, is it, it, it cleanses us on the inside of us. But the Bible declares, let us cleanse ourselves from every defilement of the body and the spirit. I preached the sermon when we very first got on the um, Inspired Network and I said um, let's get our flesh under subjection. And I even talked about that earlier today on the radio getting your flesh under subjection because a lot of times what we as the body of Christ is forgetting that our flesh is weak and our spirit is strong. And the flesh will trick you sometimes. The flesh hungers after the things of this world. The flesh hungers 
purpose but once you get your flesh under subjection and cleanse out your flesh and bring holiness and begin to live a lifestyle of holiness if you begin to live a lifestyle of holiness your flesh will automatically begin to get under subjection because if you live a lifestyle of holiness all that cussing will turn off on your TV y'all not gonna like this type of preaching but I'm gonna preach it the way I was taught when you're living holy glory to God you can't wear everything glory to God when you're living holy glory to God you watch the way you talk glory to God and the Bible declares in first Peter the second chapter in the ninth verse but you are a chosen race a royal priesthood a holy nation a people for his own possession that you may proclaim the excellence of him who called you out of the darkness into his marvelous light glory to God when you're holy one thing you found out about holiness is, and, and I'm going to speak for myself, for the people that's watching me, for the people that follow Prophet Cody's Father Ministry, you un, you know that I, I always tell my story from at a young age, my father died, and at, at a young age, I had a lot of hurt, glory to God, I went through a lot of things that a normal young man wouldn't have had to go through, and I had a lot of hurt, and see, a lot of us watching us today, you have a lot of hurt on the inside of you, but you you guys have pushed it down saying that you have dealt with the hurt but on in actuality you have just pushed it down it's time out for just pushing stuff down and it's start it's and it's time to start dealing with that pain it's time to start dealing with that hurt because the more you push it down the more you're going to begin to be angry the more you're going to begin to be furious the more you're going to begin to treat people nasty and see that's the reason some of us treat people nasty it's not because we have bad attitudes it's not because of oh, glory to God but it's because of what we've been through in our past the hurt the pain that we've been through but again I tell you when the Holy Ghost comes upon you when you begin to live holy what you've been through you understand that it had already been predestinated by God and what you've been through you understand that God would never put more on you than you can bear so you have to live a life of holiness glory to God let that hurt go yes you might have been without a, without your parents yes your parents might have hurt you yes you might have been molested Yes, you might have been through some things. Yes, you might have been through some hurt. Yes, you might not understand. Yes, you might be questioning God, saying, God, why did I have to go through this? But what you have to realize is that if you would not have went through it, you wouldn't be able to tell somebody on how to come out of it. I wish I had a witness in here that are coming on the screen and put on the screen and say that I am who I am because of what I went through. Glory to God. If you wouldn't have went through that hurt, you wouldn't know how to tell somebody on how to come out of that hurt. If you went and went through that divorce, you wouldn't be able to tell another woman how to be and on how to come out and how to and how to love through the hurt. Glory to God. If you ain't never been without a parent, you are, you don't know how it feels not to be without a parent. If you ain't never been without a father, you don't know how it feels to, on Father's Day to not be able to wake up and text your father or call your father and say happy Father's Day. That hope that you have in your heart, you have to deal with it. Glory to God. Now we're talking about holiness. As I said earlier, holiness is a lifestyle. And the only way you're going to begin to be holy, see a lot of things, a lot of times we're sinning because of the hurt we have. We have to deal with, and this is what the church has begun to do. They have begun to forget what you've been through and they begin to make you push. But if you keep pushing, if you keep pushing and not deal with it, it's going to always come back to hurt you. Amen. So you have to deal with that hurt. And a lot of times the body of Christ is sinning. A lot of times people are smoking weed and drinking and, and, and doing all of these things to cope with what they have been going through. But instead of trying to cope with what you've been going through, I dare you to put it in God's hands and allow you have to deal with that hurt. You have to deal with that pain because the more you smoke and drink, all that is doing is being a temporary solution. But if you deal with it and put it in God's hands, you'll realize that God, I know that I had to go through this. But God, I don't understand why you took me through it. And God will tell you, he'll say that I took you through it to make you stronger. I took you through it because I knew that you were strong enough to withstand. What we as the body of Christ have to remember is that 
dealing with is not because of God. And see, that's what's wrong with us as the body of Christ today. Our uh, glory to God. I feel like preaching up in here. I ain't going to get no likes and hearts, no comments or nothing, but I'm going to talk about this anyhow. Glory to God. A lot of times, uh, glory to God, we cannot be holy because we haven't dealt with what we're going to. Glory to God. And when you begin to live a holy lifestyle, glory to God, you will put your face and your eyes straight on God. So you don't got time for no woman. You ain't got time for no boyfriend or no girlfriend. You ain't got time because your eyes is straight on God. And you'll realize that God has sent you exactly who you need. First Peter 1, 15 and 16 declares, and I'm reading from the English Standard Version. But as he who called you is holy. We as the body of Christ, preachers, stop being arrogant. Stop taking responsibility, responsibility for the miracles that God has performed through you. The Bible declares, he who called you, gifts and callings come without repentance. Glory to God. Be holy. For the one who has called you is holy. You also be holy in all your conduct. Since it is written, you shall be holy for I am holy. Your master is holy. And as I always tell the saints, friends, body of Christ, for the people that's not saved, that's watching me, you're saying, Prophet Cody Spabby, you always talking about holy. You're always talking about dancing to the beat of a different drum. You're always talking about living in this world, but not of this world. What do you mean be holy for he is holy? What you have to understand is that when, when, when God has a plan of over your life. You can run as much as you want to, but God is going to always get the glory. Do not make God chase you. And see, one thing about it, God is not going to chase you. But one thing he'll let you do, he'll let you run so far and snatch you right back. Glory to God. For the Bible says, you shall be holy for I am holy. First Samuel 2 and 2 declares, there is none holy like the Lord. There is none beside you. There is no rock like our God. I say this all the time. Where your treasure is, there will your heart be also. Glory to God. So, I, I, and I'm saying that to say this. If you, um, glory to God, are spending more time with God than in the world, your, walk, your holiness won't get easier. If you begin to turn off all of that negative stuff and get around some positive stuff, you'll begin to um, understand that that holiness walk will be a bag of chips. Glory to God. It'll be easy. Glory to God. When you begin to get from around all the unpure stuff, when you begin to get from around those people that don't even believe in God, you'll, be, you'll begin to understand that your holiness walk will get easier. The Bible declares, be not unequally yoked. Some of us, oh glory, glory to God, I'm going to go here, I hear you Holy Ghost. See, some of us cannot walk holy and walk upright because we're with the wrong spouses. See, if your spouse is not holy, then you know he, he, he is not for you because glory to God, the Bible declares, glory to God, that a man that findeth a wife findeth a good thing, glory to God. And the Bible also declares, husbands love your wife as Christ loved the church. So if your husband does not love, glory to God, does not love God, if your husband is not walking a holy wife, a holy walk, how can you expect him to love you right? How can you expect, mm. I'm going to leave that there alone. But holiness. First Samuel 2 and 2 declares, there is none holy like the Lord. There is none beside you. There is no rock like our God. First Thessalonians 4 and 7 declares, for God has not called us for impurity, but in holiness. I tell you all the time, prophets touch. We have to get discernment. 
glory to God. A lot of these scandals wouldn't be going on if we had discernment. A lot of these things that's going on in the church wouldn't be going on if we had discernment. Get pure. Leviticus 19 and 2 declares, Speak to all the congregation of the people of Israel and say to them, You shall be holy, for I the Lord your God am holy. And I said all of that to say this as we get ready to get on up off of here. That it's time out prophets, pastors, leaders, fivefold ministries. It's time out for us preaching prosperity. And it's time to get back to preaching holiness. Jesus, the Messiah, the Son of God, is soon to return. No man knows the day nor the hour in which the Son of Man is going to come. Let me tell you, it'll be a shame for Jesus to pop back up on you and you haven't been living a holy life. How can you get to the Father except you go through the Son? Glory to God. And, and, and the Bible and God himself wants you to live a holy life. Glory to God. How do you expect to get to the Father if you're not living holy? Now this is the prophet's touch. And I have to leave you with a prophetic word each and every week. I have to leave you with a prophetic word. And the prophetic word for this week, prophet's touch, is to get you a personal relationship with God. Study to show thyself approved. A lot of things that's going on in the church today, a lot of these preachers, they, they, they get on this TV, they get up here, and they prostitute the gift that God has placed on the inside of them. They use ministry for financial gain. They use ministry for financial gain. Pain. And it's time out for that. Get you a personal relationship with God. They're not going to tell you, so I'm going to tell you. A lot of these preachers, they're fake and they're phony. But get you a personal relationship with God. I dare you to get some discernment. If you get discernment, you'll understand. You'll see. God I'll allow you to see. When you get discernment, you'll understand. You'll see. You'll, 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 you'll know when a preacher's just up here preaching for money. You'll know that uh, when a preacher only cares about what's in your pocket because God will give you discernment. And one thing about a prophet, glory to God, is if a prophet is always prophesying materialistic things to you and not telling you that the wages of sin is death. That's not a true prophet because the real prophet is gonna is not gonna tell you that you're gonna get a new house. What a real prophet is gonna tell you is that if you keep shacking in the house that you stay in, that you're gonna die and go to hell. Why would God bless you with a new house and you shacking in the house that you stay in? Why would God bless you with a new car and you don't bring nobody into church in the car that you have now? Why would God bless you with prosperity and you don't even pay your tithes and your offer. I'm preaching right here. Why would God bless you? Glory to God with all these earthly and materialistic things and you don't even walk holy in here. You steady saying that you love God but you steady trying to get out of his presence. You don't never love God. You don't never exalt God. You don't even know what the definition of exalt is. All you know how to do is put big words and sentences and make it sound good. But it's time out for having a fake praise. It's time out for having a fake love on God. It's time out for living a fake life and it's time to get real with God. See when you get real with God holiness will come upon you and as I preach all the time when the enemy shall come in like a flood the spirit of the Lord shall lift up a standard against him. Your standard should be, get lit, should be getting lifted up. The prophet such I ain't gonna get no liking horns no shares but it'll be alright I'm finna get on up out of here anyways. But let me tell you something. Get you a personal relationship with God Get you some discernment. Understand that this walk with God is not going to be easy. I want you to understand you're going to make mistakes. I want you to understand, but also I want you to understand that the wages of sin is death. And if you can continue to be a whole 
chasing, free basing, whiskey nipping, cocaine sniffing, pill popping, weed chopping, tobacco chewing, cigarette sucking, pipe puffing, midnight rumbling, bigo gumbling, lottery scratching, lesbian devil, you're gonna die and go to hell. I don't care if you don't like me, you ain't never gotta listen to me another day in my life. But I want you to, I want you to live a life of holiness. I want you to come out from among you and be ye separated. I want you to make it to heaven and hear the words, well done, thy good and faithful servant. You've been faithful over a few things. Now I'm going to make you real over many. It's time to live a holy life. Stop living a life of sin. What you're forgetting. See, these preachers, they're going to panicate you. But what I'm going to tell you is that the wages of sin is death. If you don't come out of it, you're going to die and go to hell. I don't care how much money you got. Glory to God. God don't care nothing but about your money. If you're not living a holy life, you're going to die and go to hell. I don't care how much clout you got, how many followers you got. I don't care. Ooh, glory to God. I'm preaching up in here today. I don't care about it. If you don't get your life lined up with God, and if you don't order your steps in the word of God, glory to God, you're going to die and go to hell. Get you a personal relationship with God. Get you some discernment. Holiness is not, uh, glory to God, it's not just words, but holiness is a lifestyle. Holiness is a way of living. Holiness. See, one thing about it, glory to God, one thing about it, glory to God, you should walk a holy life. I'm finna get on up out of here. I love you guys so much. I love you guys so much. I want to thank each and every one of you that watch me and make it possible for us to be right here on the Inspired Network. I want to thank you. Glory to God. I feel glory up in here. And I want to prophesy to a couple of people watching me tonight. I want to prophesy and let you know that your situation is not bigger than God. I want to prophesy to you and let you know that everything you're going through has already been predestinated by God. But you got to stay. Stick to the race for the race is not given to the swift nor to the strong but to the ones that's going to endure to the end glory to God I want to prophesy to you and let you know that no sickness is too big for God I want to prophesy to you and let you know that God's going to send you your spouse in the right timing I want to prophesy to you and let you know uh, that God is going to release it uh, oh glory to God in his timing not your timing but in his timing I don't know who this word is for and I'm prophesying to a couple of people that's watching me I don't know for. But I want to let you know that your storm that you in is not bigger than God. I want to let you know that if you put it in God's hands, it'll never be the same. Your life will never be the same. One decision, one choice can change your life forever. One decision, one choice can change your life forever. I don't care nothing about your money, but I want you to get it right with God. If you're watching me right now, and that's you that I'm speaking to, I want you to right there where you are to say, God, Save me, God. I accept you as my Lord and personal Savior. Say, God, come into my house. Come into my heart. Change me. Teach me how to live holy. We are walking in you, and I'm talking to you today about holiness. Glory to God. Holiness. Get to a personal relationship with God. Find out what it is to glory to God that you need to deal with on the inside of you to get that hurt out of there. You're only lashing out because you're hurt. Glory to God. But if you love on God, God will get all of that hurt up out of you. If you put it in God's hands, glory to God, that hurt will be gone. You're only lashing out. You're only having so much hatred. You're only having those episodes. Be glory to God. Who am I prophesying to up on this TV network today? You're only going through it. You're only going through it because you haven't dealt with the hurt. You're steady saying that you've dealt with it, but you haven't dealt with it in actuality, you're hurt, you're hurt, you're, you're lashing out at people because you're hurt. Glory to God. Glory to God. Deal with that hurt. Deal with that pain. Deal with it. Deal with it. Say, God. Glory to God. Say, God, I forgive those people that hurt me. Say, God, I forgive those people that despitefully use me. Say, God, I forgive them. Now, then, after you forgive them, glory to God. Say, God, teach me. Teach me how to forget about it. Listen, you got to say, God, teach me how to forget about it. You got to say, God, get that hurt up off of me. I dare you to put it in God's hands and watch for holiness walk. Begin to become pure. Listen, I'm out of time. I got to get out of here. Holiness. 
not just words, but holiness is a lifestyle. Holiness is a walk with God. Holiness is a devotion to God. Holiness is still right. Holiness is still right. Listen, I got to get off of here. I love you guys so much. Listen, for the ones that want to stand in agreement and give tonight, he's about to put the cash app up on the screen. Dollar sign, D-I-V-I-N-E, faith, 19, glory to God. We're not going to put an amount on it. But listen, I want you to sow tonight. I want you to give tonight, glory to God. I want you to give tonight, whether it's a dollar, whether it's $10, $100, $25, whatever the Lord puts on your heart. I want you to give to the prophet's touch tonight. I want you to sow into the prophet's touch. Glory to God. I want you to sow into the prophet's touch so that we can expand and go greater into the nations. Glory to God. Glory to God. The, the, you can also give um, by mailing in 6651 Crestline Drive, Jacksonville, Florida, 32211. Again, it's 6651 Crestline Drive, Jacksonville, Florida, 6... Glory to God. 6651 Crestline Drive, Jacksonville, Florida, 32211. I love you. I love you. I truly do. We want to give an honor to each and every one of you that watch me every week. Shout out to my sponsors of the week, Tease to Treats and Raphael Jones. Go check them out through the pandemic. I love you. I love you. I truly do. And I'll see you on the next Prophet's Touch. God bless. Bye-bye. Make plans now to join Three's Company Production as we present Prophetic Momentum Conference 2021 with Bishop Wesley Wiley. Apostle Joe Maddox. Everybody tells us about how to obtain the anointing, but nobody tells us how to contain it. How do I carry around this weight? An Apostle Kenya Miller. Conference begins June 25th through the 26th in the beautiful city of Jacksonville, Florida. All events held at the Hospital Church of Jacksonville, 6651 Crestline Drive, Jacksonville, Florida. Registration is now open. Visit gumroad.com slash prophetic momentum. That's gumroad.com slash prophetic, prophetic momentum. momentum.